Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do this Joker makeup look. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. With no further ado, let's get started. So the first step, you're going to moisturize the skin and make sure it's nice and prepped. Then I'm going to go in with my glue stick and glue down those brows. If you guys want an in-depth tutorial, please let me know in the comment section down below. Then I'm using my Crowlin Clown White Foundation with my Real Techniques buffing brush and I apply this generously all over the face, avoiding the eye area. For easy makeup removal, I am using eyelash glue instead of spirit gum. I apply this onto the lip area, tracing out the shape that I want, letting it dry a little bit tacky before I apply the Ben 9 Scar Wax on top of it. Taking a little bit of the product, create a worm form and place it into a V shape along the lip area on top of the glue and letting it air dry for about 10 to 15 minutes and making sure that it is completely almost dry before you do anything else to it. If you guys want a closer look, this is what it's supposed to look like. I am using a spatula just to apply a little bit more adhesive along the area to make sure that it's nicely stuck onto the face before I move on to the eye. For the other side, repeat the same step and just let it air dry afterwards. Moving on to the eyes, I'm just using any sort of gel liner just to use as a base all over the eyelid. and. It doesn't have to be clean. It could be as messy as you want because that's the beauty of it. You want to make it look like it has been worn for days or for weeks or for months, whatever you like. Now I'm using a fluffy brush just to kind of soften the edges out with some black matte eyeshadow and then pulling it out on top of the eye area, creating some random kind of squinty shapes I guess. I'm also asking him to kind of push his face together to create some natural wrinkles and I'm just pushing the eyeshadow into those lines. One tip about this eye area, you want to make sure that it does not look rounded because you don't want to look like a panda. So make sure it is as uneven as possible. Be creative, be fun. Don't worry about it, just make it messy. To make the makeup a bit more distressed, I'm grabbing a piece of tissue with some makeup remover to take off some foundation to make it more worn in looking. Once the glue is dry, I'm taking my spatula and pushing the scar wax down to create the cut marks of the Joker's face. Make it gruesome! You're supposed to take a knife and cut the crap out of your lips so it doesn't have to be clean. This is the fun part. I'm just basically mixing a bunch of liquid lipsticks together in many different shades of red. Some are bright red, some are a little bit darker and just going along the scar area and filling in those gaps and giving it a bit of color. For more dimension, I'm adding the dark tones into the center of the scar and using my finger and pushing out the product. So that completes my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and also follow me on three social media, Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, all under Ross Klein. And I will see you guys in the next one.